Good evening. Thank you for joining us on Hawaii's only live local newscast at 7. Bridget has the night off. I'm Howard Dushevsky. We begin with the latest tonight in the growing crisis surrounding the Navy's water system. The Navy now disputing reports that its second water source contaminated with petroleum. Meanwhile, the Board of Water Supply is taking action to protect the city's water by shutting down more of its wells. BWS says this won't impact much of Oahu right now, but that could change if things don't get better soon. Manolo, Mor Manolo Morales, excuse me, with more in tonight's top story. Once again, the Board of Water Supply says the Navy's explanation of the water test results isn't making a lot of sense. That's why BWS is now shutting down two water wells in addition to the halava shaft which was closed last week. The Department of Health reported Wednesday evening that water from the Navy's IA halava shaft tested positive for petroleum at more than double the limit allowed for safe drinking water. The Navy then released a statement Thursday saying the sample did not come directly from the Navy's IA halava well and the Navy does not believe it indicates contamination of the Navy's IA halava well and that the sample came from an off-service section of the water distribution system. So where did it come from, Navy? Uh, if you're saying it's not coming out of the aquifer and not being pumped out of their Aya Halava shaft, then where is it coming from? BWS points out that the shaft is the only water source in that system, so if the sample was contaminated, so is the well. I think the Navy needs to clarify more as to where that sample came from, under what conditions it was sampled, and certainly um, we need more clarification and information about that. The uncertainty has forced BWS to close its own IAEA and Halava wells, which provide water to 20,000 people. Halava shaft, which closed last week, provides water to 450,000 people. BWS says there should still be enough water for Oahu, but when the summer comes, there could be a problem. Uncertainty and mixed messaging has U.S. Senator Brian Schatz calling on the Environmental Protection Agency to oversee the crisis, saying, we can't afford another day of the Navy and state and county agencies disagreeing on the basic question of whether the drinking water is safe. We need a trusted independent agency with deep expertise and a mission of environmental protection to take over. The issue is not only a health concern, some businesses at the Moana Lewis Shopping Center have not been able to open for the past week after management told them they get their water from the Navy's Red Hill shaft. Ruby Tuesday remains open by bringing in ice and water from a private source at a cost. 2,000 pounds of ice is probably uh, over $500 plus an emergency delivery fee. So, you know, it's, it's a substantial cost. EPA says it is coordinating with the Navy, DOH, and Schatz's office to ensure all concerns are addressed. The Navy has yet to respond. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.